Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a fairly simple way of getting Samba sharing working on your Linux desktop. Now, for those of you who don't know, Samba is basically a service that allows you to share files between Linux computers. Now, there's also a way you can access a Samba share from Windows. I've only been successful at it a couple times. It's kind of a pain in the ass. It's just the way it is because Windows sucks. I'm just putting that out there. But if you're doing this from Linux, it's very easy. So first you have to obviously install Samba. So in order to do that, let's jump over into a terminal here. And if you're on Arch Linux, you just want to do sudo pacman dash capital S Samba. If you're on Arch or on, on excuse me, if you're on Ubuntu, you just do sudo apt oops. It's, I cannot spell apt install Samba. That's all you'd have to do. Okay? I've already done this, so I don't need to do it again. The next thing you're going to want to do is create a directory that you want to share or know the path of the directory you want to share. So if you want to share your documents folder, that one's going to be home slash your username slash documents. If you create a new one, which I did, I created a folder here called Sharebox. It's one right, it's right here. And right now it's empty, there's nothing in there. But this is the one I'm going to share. So in order to get this thing to be shareable, you have to go through and edit a configuration file. That configuration file is located in the Etsy folder. So let's just CD into it. CD slash Etsy slash Samba. Now, mine is going to look a little bit different than yours because I have some different things in here and I've already done some work here. So the, you won't have this one here and you won't have this one here likely but you should have this one here. Now there are some things you want to do. So the first thing you want to do is to see sudo cp this one here into smb.com. Now I'm going to use the Arco Linux one simply because I know it works for sure. Um, the difference here is if we if we vim it into this other one vim uh, smb.com dot, dot default okay the difference here is that you'll have to make sure your work group here is work group okay you don't want this to be my group you want it to be work group especially if you're going to be changing or sharing this with a Windows computer. Everything else should be exactly the same. I'm having some Vim errors there, just ignore those because whatever. So what you'll want to do is copy this folder into a folder that's called smb.com because Samba itself will not actually use this folder here or this configuration file with a out it being wonky so just make sure you copy it so I've since I've already done this I'm going to them into that so I'm make sure you use sudo and I'm going to use and so I don't get those errors and we'll just do this okay I'll zoom in so you can actually see so as you can see this one here has been changed to work group that way it actually will work with Windows if I needed to do so I don't actually have any Windows computers that I want to do that but whatever so at the end, at the very bottom of the file, you want to put this here. Now, depending on who you ask, the word browsable is spelled with an E or without an E. I'm pretty sure it works both ways. I'm not sure why it does. The Arch Linux guys will have it with an E. I believe that the standard def one will... So the standard one won't uses an E as well. So, but if you look on like the Ubuntu tutorial for how to do this, it doesn't use an E. So we're gonna use an E. Somebody somewhere along the line doesn't know how to spell. How you actually spell? I actually I think it is spelled with an E. So we'll just do sudo. We'll get back into the regular one here. I really gotta turn persistence back on for do as, but whatever. So we're gonna make sure this has an E in it. Okay. Anyways, you want to uh, go through and put a comment, which can just be the name of the folder, or it can be anything, really. The path to the folder that you're sharing, make sure read-only is set to no, 
and that browsable is set to yes. Now there are other things that you can do. You can make it completely public, which means that it will not use your Samba username and password. It, and same thing with the guest thing here. I'm just going to leave it at this here. So once you've put this in there, you can save the save this and quit. Okay, and then CD back into your home directory. So the next thing you'll want to do is start the service. Now, how you do this depends on what distribution you're using. Now, if you're on Ubuntu, you're going to want to do sudo service smbd restart. I don't know if the archway will actually work on Ubuntu. I'm not sure, but for me, my purpose is here. I'm going to going to do sudo smbd start, okay? And then you're going to need a password obviously. And you should have no output to that obviously. That just means Samba is now running in the background and it's using your new configuration file to do it, okay? So the next thing you're going to want to do cuz right now technically if you went to another computer and got into their file browser specifically if you're on Linux, and you went to the network, and you, you'd find the name of your computer here, and you'd see the folder that you just shared, but you would not be able to access it because you, you do not have permission to do so. So what you need to do is create a Samba user. In order to do that, you need to do this here. sudo smbpasswd, and then give it the A flag, and then your username. Okay? It can... It can be the username you're going to be using on your computer. It can be used to use be just a random username. It doesn't matter, just as long as you know what it is. Okay, and then it's going to ask you for a password. So we give it a password, and then it's going to ask you to confirm that password. I, I, excuse me. I'm sorry. I messed that up. Sudo is going to ask you for a password, and then it's going to ask you for a new password for the this user. So. Once it's done that, you should get a confirmation that it's added to the user you just of the username you just created. And then it's just a matter of going to the other computer and signing in. So um, let me see if I can show you this. It's not going to look the same, it, but you want to get in almost every Linux file manager. You'll see a network thing here, and then you'll see the name of your computer, and then Here's where it will they be different than what you're you're seeing here because I'm actually on this computer, so it's not going to ask me for a username and password. But on another computer, you'll it will ask you for your username that you just set up and the password you just set up. So you'd have to sign in, and a lot of times they'll ask you whether or not you wanted to remember your password or not. Do whatever you feel is most secure, and then you'll see the pa the the folder that you just shared. Actually, here we go. Uh, you'll want to hit registered user username make sure the work group is the same as what the work group we just set it as work group and then enter your password i'm not going to do that because i'm already on this computer but it should share just perfectly fine now if we go back over to the terminal here and go back into our, our etsy and go back into our sm our samba configuration file so we'll do sudo and then into smb.comp. I mistyped the password. Man, is it really annoying having to type that password in every time. I have to remember to reset up persistence. Anyways, if we go back to the bottom here, now let's just say we want to do a folder that's already existing on our computer. We didn't create one. We want to, like the documents folder or something like that. It's exactly the same. So if we just do. Let's just copy this here. Think, and then we'll go into insert mode. Actually, we'll go back to the bottom, and then we'll just paste it. And what we want to do here is change this word to change word documents. Okay, and then we can just do change word documents, and then down here change word documents. And then all we'd have to do is do write and quit this. And then what you're going to want to do is restart Samba. So again, this may be different on Ubuntu. So if we just CD back into our our home directory, and for at least for Arch, we just do sudo smbd 
restart. Okay, that just restarts Sambo with the changes to the configuration file we just made. Very simple. Uh, you can also just do start. It, it functions the same way. Now, like I said, on Ubuntu, this might be look a little bit different. So you might need to do sudo service smbd restart. That's what the Ubuntu wiki says, or their tutorial guide or whatever says. So just be aware that it might be different on Ubuntu. For sure on, on Linux or on Arch and Arch-based distributions like this one here, it's just sudo start smbd or sudo smbd restart. I mean, okay? Very easy. The one thing that I don't have available to show you is how to do this through a firewall. So if you use UFW, which I believe is the uncomplicated firewall is what that stands for, there's going to be a way that you have to set this up. I will leave a link to the Ubuntu setup. You just have to do sudo sudo ufw allow samba. That should allow it to go through, you know, and get through your firewall without having you to open up another port. So that's it. That's how you use Samba. Very simple. Uh, the hardest part is going to be remembering to change that work group from the default folder. Because like I said, that's the reason why I use, use the the um the Oracle Linux one. It's all the same except for there's a few more examples in the default one and uh there is that work group thing you just have to change. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. You can support the channel by subscribing to the channel or going to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Linuxcast. Very soon we're going to be having it set up so that all patrons level two or level three will get access to our videos a day early. They'll also have access to the ability to vote on topics and things for the channel and podcast. And there might be some merch. There might be some merch eventually, probably towards the middle of the year. So make sure you go over there and help us out. Thanks to Devon C for being our first patron and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.